Risk management helps us make decisions that shape the future of the organization. There is an a priori decision. What approach to risk should we take? How do we choose from among the varied risk management frameworks? There are a number of approaches to risk management. For this training, we will clearly focus on ISO 31000. Depending on your industry, jurisdiction, or organizational needs, another framework, such as the COSO framework, might be more appropriate. Still, it is important to elucidate the principles behind the risk management framework. This course in particular takes a pragmatic approach to legal risk founded on a few principles. The section of principles will identify the benefits of risk management in general and legal risk management in particular. These principles can help you justify the adoption of the risk management framework. There are eight principles that animate the approach to legal risk management in this course. One, create and protect value. This is a tremendous challenge for legal professionals. They are often viewed simply as cost centers. They are also not trained to justify their work in terms of revenue and expenses. One of the benefits of legal risk management is the ability to demonstrate the value of the legal professional. Two, integrate with the organization. The practical corollary to the seemingly abstract idea of demonstrating value is the isolation of legal professionals from the rest of the organization or clients. Legal risk management provides an opportunity to integrate with a variety of parts of your organization rather than just waiting for problems to land on your desk. Three, make better decisions. Legal risk management requires that legal professionals and domain experts throughout the client or organization collaborate in a specific way for particular purposes. This framework means that both sides have access to information otherwise unavailable. Legal risk management improves decision making. Four, adapt to company strategy and culture. The framework for legal risk discussed in this course can be adapted to a wide variety of business strategies and cultures. It is flexible enough for large and small, aggressive and conservative, local and global organizations. Legal risk management allows legal professionals to adapt to company strategy and culture. Five, address uncertainty. Uncertainty is a given, especially on legal matters. We don't know whether a thing will happen or how bad it will be. The approach to legal risk in this training measures that uncertainty so that management can make better decisions in the face of the uncertainty. Six, build repeatable processes. Legal risk historically boils down to case management. A contract needs drafting, lawsuits are filed in court, there is a proposed rule change affecting our client. We manage that matter to protect the legal rights of our client. But the research, analysis, conclusions, and communication about the matter differs depending on the professional tasks with the work and the nature of the issue. Legal risk management gives the organization a repeatable and reliable process to identify, analyze, and manage risks. Seven. Clarify reasoning. Legal opinions, speaking informally, are often opaque to business colleagues, if for no other reason than the client's lack of legal education to assess the opinion. The legal risk framework we developed provides a mechanism for the legal professional to translate their expertise into terms that are more accessible to senior management. Eight, improve continuously. Risk management is not a set-it-and-forget-it exercise. The framework explicitly provides for absorbing information about its own effectiveness, review of the results, and adaptation based on its shortcomings. Our initial approach will likely fall short of its potential. We will continuously optimize each part of the framework so that it grows with the organization. These principles are well and good. ISO 31000 can adapt to a variety of situations and organizations, which means that there is no excuse 
not to manage legal risk in your organization. Simply do what you can with what you've got where you are. Some risk management is better than no risk management. Use the techniques that are helpful, and your context should control how much risk management you take on. In this section, we discussed the eight principles behind risk management and how they apply to legal risk. We also understand that risk management is a practical exercise and not just an academic inquiry. In addition to the eight principles of risk management, we learned how to use those principles to justify adoption of a risk management framework.